What is going on, Jerome's? Happy Monday out there. I am dressed like the bounty paper towel guy because I'm cleaning up on aisle five. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Speaking of five, double five, 55, Zadarius Smith was uh, a breath of fresh air on the Vikings defense. Well, first part of the season, yes, uh, but he fought through that knee injury, still had a ton of pressures in the second half, and overall was a- an asset on the Vikings defense, which was ass. Asset versus ass, get it, that, that old stuff. But all the offseason drama is already starting to come into play. Him basically saying goodbye to the fans and his teammates, uh, and the Vikings are like, uh, no. Uh, there's still two years left on your contract, man. Reportedly, he's asked for a release. Vikings don't want to do that because I, I would love to have Zadaris back in purple. I think that he will thrive uh, in Brian Flores' scheme. And he, he still can bring it, even though he's on the wrong side of 30. All the antics about him selling his house and that, that old stuff, I, I don't think that it'll happen because Zadaris Smith, I mean, even after the injury last year, he, he played some damn good football. And the three-year $42 million deal that he signed last offseason, like we mentioned, really was a one-year $6.45 million deal. It, it was ridiculous at the time. He outperformed it. Yes, the Vikings uh, could not should freshen up his deal, but he's under contract, and he's not going to get released at, if anything, he's going to get traded. Uh, so I also think that there is going to be a market, even though uh, this edge class is pretty good. Uh, I think having a, a proven commodity, a guy that was playing at defensive player of the year level uh, before he banged up his knee week 10 against Buffalo will have a lot of value. So here are nine nueve uh, trade destinations for Zadarius Smith. Number one, the Packers. <laughs> All right. So the Packers got 24 million in cap space and their day two picks are 45 and 78. This would be more just hilarious. All right, so uh, maybe they can run it back. Who, who knows? Bring back that love and feeling, et cetera. Oh, so for the teams listed, we have their cap space, which, of course, cap is a myth. If they want to make it work, they can make it work. Uh, as well as I, you know, given the depth of the edge class, given that Zadaris has injury concerns, given that Zadaris is on the wrong side of 30, I, I don't think that you'll get a first-round pick. I, I think that you can conceivably land a second-round pick, though, uh, because of the value of the position and the value of the player as well as the contract attached, even though Zadaris probably would get an extension as part of the deal. So, uh, you know, ideally a second-round pick because the Vikings are bereft of a second-rounder, but, you know, we'll settle for a high third-rounder there. But the Packers... That would be hilarious. So they, they cut him last off season due to health concerns as well as cap issues, but bring back that love and feeling. Next up, number two, the Ravens. So now the Ravens are in the hole cap wise, uh, but that also is factored in uh, Lamar on the franchise tag. Uh, they don't have a second round pick because of the Ro- Roquan Smith trade. They do have 86 overall, right in front of the Vikings at 87. And the Ravens did want him back last year. Like they had agreed in principle to a contract, but then he asked for more money after Von Miller got paid, and they're like, eh, no, no. So, but uh, maybe feelings can be put aside yet again. I mean, both those two would be actually be hilarious. Next up, number three, the Falcons. So the Falcons have a lot of cap space, 62.9 million. Uh, uh, Edge rusher is a very large need for Atlanta. Uh, They do have uh, the second round pick 44 as well as 75. And Ryan Nielsen is coming in as their new defensive coordinator. Uh, They do have three, four personnel for previous years. Uh, Ryan Nielsen has already talked about running a multiple scheme. So having a guy who can consistently get the passer is something that Atlanta hasn't had in recent years. So Zadarius Smith would make sense there and they could afford to pay him. Next up, number four. The Rams. All right, so the Rams are basically just getting rid of everyone except for Stafford, Cooper Cup, and Aaron Dahl. I mean, they just traded Jalen Ramsey for, for nada, uh, and you know, they picked up an extra third-round pick. Uh, but also, the, you know, they're in the hole a little bit in the cap, but of course, oh, sure, crap is a myth. They got rid of Leonard Floyd, uh, but they saw what happened two years ago when they had Von Miller, and they won the Super Bowl. So having consistent edge rusher who can get his uh, makes some sense, uh, and that's why they couldn't and should be in the market, especially since uh, they're not drafting that high. Mm. Oh, we'll take 36, though. There we go. Next up, number five, the Arizona Cardinals. So, Monty Ossifort, new GM, sort of cleaning up a mess, and they're down J.J. Watt. They got rid of Chandler Jones last year. They lost uh, Hassan Reddick uh, the pre- previous year, too. So, I mean, the cupboard is pretty bare in terms of edge rushers. And uh, Gannon and Rallis, uh, they, they've worked with a 3-4 before. They're going to get aggressive after it. And having a guy like Zedaris would make a ton of sense. They have the cap space to pay him. Uh, and also, uh, you're looking at... Probably wouldn't get 34, but could we do 66 for Zadarius one time? Spice it up. Let's go. Uh, next up, 
the Raiders. Uh, Forty three point seven million in cap space. They have thirty eight and seventy overall uh, in day two. And yes, they have Max Crosby. Yes, they have Chandler Jones. Except Chandler Jones ain't Chandler Jones anymore. But either way, having a plethora of guys who can consistently get to the quarterback that is a great equalizer, especially when you're in division uh, with Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert and also Russell Wilson. Mm. Next up. Jacksonville Jaguars, $6.9 million. Remember when the Jaguars had $2 billion of cap space last offseason? It's funny, man. But uh, they have 56 and 88 overall day two. And, yes, they do have Josh Allen. Mm. Yes, they do have Trevon Walker. Mm. But having a veteran presence on that defense for Doug Peterson, uh, a guy who, who can consistently get after the quarterback, that could be the great equalizer, especially in a division as weak as the AFC South. Uh, next up, uh, trade destination for Zadarius Smith. Seahawks. All right, so the Seahawks in every single mock draft are going edge, edge, edge because they need a lot of help there. Uh, and Clint Hurt last offseason did bring in the 3-4, so they are looking for a guy who can stand up and get after the QB. Zedarius could be that dude. They have $20.2 million in cap space even after paying Geno. Uh, they got 37 52 and 83 day two. I mean, 37 obviously would be the dream. I would settle for 52. I would take 52 for Zadarius straight up. Uh, and lastly, trade destination number nine for Zadarius Smith, Denver Broncos. So Vance Joseph is a 3-4 dude. The Broncos have 3-4 personnel from Ajero Averro. Uh, they got rid of Bradley Chubb, uh, so they don't really have a guy who can stand up and just get after it. Also, two years ago, they gave Von Miller to the Rams. Uh, the Broncos have plenty of cap space, 32.56, uh, as well as uh, they don't have a first or second rounder because of the rust trade, but they do have 67 and uh, 68 uh, back-to-back. I'll just take both. Uh, both, both, both sounds good. Uh, how about both? But e- either way, uh, I, I obviously don't think that Zadarius is going to get cut. I think it is a possibility that he will be traded uh, if he truly does not want to be back because uh, he still he played great ball last year, still got great football left in him, uh, and as well as the contract is eminently tradable. And if the Vikings want to clear up some more cap space, uh, they would free up around $12 million and change if they did uh, cut or trade him. But he's got, he's got some trade value, and I think relatively high, even though, yes, this is a very good edge class. Uh, I think that a guy like Zedarius, who is a solid veteran, he's a good leader, uh, as well as a guy who can consider get after the quarterback I mean there's not many of them there's not many of them so take a sure thing especially if one of these teams thinks that they're on the cusp and go get after it but uh, your thoughts on our thoughts uh, taking a look at nine nueve uh, trade destinations for Zadarius Smith let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily Vikings takes once about the work put a little something in the Venmo but to next time skull production value